Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your boy B. Adams reporting live once again from Adams Barbershop, 5138 West Madison, Chicago, Illinois, 60644. A year ago, I made a video called The Sneakerhead Barber Preference. If you go back and take a look at that video, I may put a link down in the description. I exposed myself as a barber as also being a sneakerhead. I explained all the trials and tribulations of being a sneakerhead and a barber at the same time and the shoes that have come and gone that I wish I still had in the collection and the lesson that I learned from that. So I exposed the system I devised for cost efficiency and maximum comfort all while staying fresh and fly behind the barber chair. And since I posted that video a year ago, I have had numerous people ask me when I was going to do another video regarding the sneakerhead barber preference, even though the first video went viral and had an astounding amount of 18 views, 18 views on YouTube, 56 views, on Instagram. But I guess if you add up the people who asked me to do the video and the people who the view, I get paid. Yeah. I guess that's about right. Yeah. Safe to say everybody who watched the video the first time are the people who want to see another video. So this video basically is an extension of that video letting you all know what I am currently wearing behind the barber chair. First, we got up the Nike Air Zoom Windflow. Super, super comfortable, lightweight. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely handles the job of you being on your feet for long hours all day, all week. And I picked these up for 34 bucks. 34 bucks, I got these at Ross. I got these at Ross for 34 bucks. Nike Air Zoom Windflow, super comfortable. You can stand in these all day, all day and night. You can walk from here to the moon and back and you feel like you're walking on clouds. These are definitely, definitely fitting for the job if you're a barber and you have long days. Next up is the Nike React infinity fly knit i actually just picked these up i just picked these up at burlington i got these at burlington co factory and i paid 40 bucks i kept the price tag on it just so i could show you i paid 40 bucks and not only did i get them for a great deal not only are they extremely comfortable they fly the neon green, black and white, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely, it's definitely something that I could put in the barber shoe rotation. Last on the list is a pair that I have definitely put a few miles on behind the barber chair. Standing the test of time of a few hard work days is the Nike Air Max 270. These actually made it to the barber work shoe rotation by way of me editing my personal shoe collection. I wore them a few times while they were new and then they had to make that transition over. Definitely getting all of my money's worth, the whole 180 whatever I pay for them. I'm definitely getting all the money's worth out of these. And there you have it. The three-piece spicy that I am currently wearing behind the barber chair here at Adam's Barbershop. For those who asked for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making it. And to those who are seeing this for the first time, I hope I have given you some insight into how to go about your footwear process if you're a barber standing behind the barber chair day in and day out, hours and hours and hours, and you need something comfortable for your feet that don't cost a lot of money. Because like I explained in the first video, if you go back and watch it, I'm not wasting no more money on expensive shoes just to stand behind the barber chair and mess them up. I've given you places you can go with that, ideas you can find to accommodate your needs for maximum comfort for standing behind this barber chair all day. Like your mama used to tell you, you ain't finna go outside playing your good clothes and mess them up. But you already know what time it is. I got to get up out of here and get these clippers rolling. So like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Now let me wipe this table off for uh, somebody gotta use it. Yeah.